hello how are you welcome to a new video of fight out survival and today i am back with a new guide today's guide is not completely new because i have made two similar videos on similar topics i have made videos on king of ice field and state of power and today i am back with hall of chief uh, state of power and king of ice field both events are for veteran players but Hall of Chief is a basic event and it is for new players. So I decided to make a dedicated video on Hall of Chief because I have never made any dedicated video on Hall of Chief. This event is almost same with King of Ice Pilt or SVS. King of Ice Pilt and SVS both events have uh, the 7 days time. In the 7 days you can complete 7 stages of the event and Hall of Chief is also same. but Hall of Chief has two types. One is Generation 1 Hall of Chief and another is Generation 2 Hall of Chief. But the tasks are not same. But Generation 1 Hall of Chief is a little bit easy and the tasks are less. So today I will talk about only Generation 1 Hall of Chief. I am not making any guide on Generation 2 Hall of Chief because Generation 2 Hall of Chief is totally same. To not totally, almost same. Almost same with King of Icefield or SBS. So you can check the guide on King of Icefield or SBS if you want idea about Generation 2 Hall of Chief. So I am making the video only for Generation 1 Hall of Chief. The, what, is, what is the main difference between Generation 1 and Generation 2 Hall of Chief? Mm, the days number are not same. Generation 1 Hall of Chief has 5 days. But Generation 2 Hall of Chief has 7 days and tasks are uh, some some tasks are same some tasks are different so today i will talk about generation one hall of chief okay so let's jump in our video in, the, in this guide i will talk about each day and i will suggest you how you can complete them as free to my all guides are mainly for free to play players so this guide will be also for free to play players i will suggest you what you should do and what you should avoid our day one is city construction which is totally for free to play players the tasks are very easy so let's check the task as you can see we are getting two tasks raise power through construction and raise power through research both uh, giving us 45 points for one point of upgrade so we will start with the research you can go with any research i normally suggest to complete the growth part after that you can go for economy and last you can go for battle but here you can do any any research you want you just need points so you can do any research you want if you want to complete the research and construction quickly i suggest to join any active any active alliance not strong any active alliance if many players are active they can help you to quickly complete the task and you can also use speed up if you want if you have speed up you can use that but you do not need to use speed up actually because the time are very small the generation one hall of chip is for low level players and you do not need any high level upgrade so uh, speed ups are not necessary see i have completed the city construction by using the research and construction and i have also got the reward if you want to enter the leaderboard, you can use speed up, but I do not suggest you to use speed up. Save your speed up for future use. Okay. Now here you have to apply a trick. You can see the next day hero development has the gathering task. If you gather food, wood, coal, iron, you can get points. So before day one ends, I mean before day two starts, you should send your uh, troops for the gathering. So when day two will start, your troops will return from the gathering and you can get points this is the trick here uh, you can see the event starts in almost 15 hours so um, before the event starts i mean before the day two starts i can send my troops for the gathering and when the event i mean the day two will start my troops will return from the gathering and i will get points you can apply this trick here we have completed our research, we have completed day 1, we have sent our troops for gathering and they will return in day 2. So we are ending our day 1 here. Okay, let's go for day 2. Okay guys, we are back with day 2. 
you can see the task of day two play lucky wheel use shards and the gathering when day one was there i already said you you can send your troops for the gathering and they will return at day two and you will get points for this so we have no problem here we will get huge amount of point from gathering and if you are free to play player you can always use the gathering task okay guys first we are going to complete our shard task i have saved a lot of shard of different different hero and now i will use rare epic mythic all type of shard first i have the jesse hero i have saved little amount of shard and i just use some little amount of shard of jesse now let's move to our next hero guys i have already made a guide on shards how to get shard if you have low amount of shard you can check the guide you see i have just upgraded eugene and my patrick has low amount of shard so i am not using it okay next i have molly i have shaped a good amount of shard of molly and i can easily upgrade her to almost two star i have saved some little amount of mythic general shard and i can convert the mythic general shard to molly shard and I have upgraded my molly to 2 star and with the hero shard I have completed my day 2. You can see all rewards are unlocked. We can also get point using the lucky wheel. If we spin the lucky wheel we will get some points but in generation 1 I do not suggest to get uh, the hero. I mean in generation 1 we get zin man. Zin man is not combat type hero so i do not suggest to get zin man but you should get at least three star zin man because the main thing you get with zin man is the city construction speed and construction cost reduction so if you want that you can upgrade your zin man but in generation one it is very hard to collect gems normally when you reach generation two three you can easily get huge amount of gems and using the gems you can upgrade any hero to three star or four star that is that is not very difficult but in generation one there are not many sorts of gems you will struggle for gems so i never suggest to use very high amount of gems for lucky wheel you can spin at least one time or two, i mean sorry you can spin 10 times one full spin mean 10 times or two full spin means 20 times you can do that and that is enough that is enough because Zinman is not combat type hero, so do not focus much on Zinman, okay? Uh, see here guys, I just got some shards of Zinman using the lucky wheel and now I am using the shard. This is enough. If you want some points for the event, this amount shards and upgrade is enough. You can see all rewards are unlocked, so I am getting the rewards. And in generation 1, you should try to save gems. Do not use all your gems for the lucky wheel because Zinman is not very powerful hero. So do not focus much on Zinman. Okay. Zinman is, Zinman is useful for the city construction, cost reduction and speed. That is okay. But do not focus much on it. Now we have a trick here. Just like day 2, in day 3 we can apply this trick. You can see in day 3 we have troops training task. And you can get huge amount of points if you start training before the day 3 starts. See, we have time before day 3 starts, so I can start the training right now. Because if I start training now, and uh, my tr uh, troops will be trained in some time, in some hours. Like 7 hours or 8 hours, troops will be trained. So when day 3 will start, I will just click on the troops and they will be collected. And by doing this, I will get huge amount of points. This is the trick here. Um, you can do this. We are ending our day 2 and let's move to day 3. Day 3 of Fall of Chief has come and it is called Train Troops. In this day, we have only one task that is Train Troops. You have to train your troops to get points. Now, I already said when day 2 is there, you should start training your troops. And when day 3 will start, you can just click on your troops so you will get points. See, I have already trained some troops and now I am clicking on them and they are coming in my army and you can see my points are increasing. This is the simple task of this day. Just train as much troops as you want and in this day, you can use the training capacity enhance. This thing is not very useful and you need good amount of gems, 3000 gems. If you are free to play, 
you can avoid this you do not need to use that but uh, it is a it is not very useful so you can avoid this you can use the, uh, the speed up the speed up will be a good option here if you want good points in this event you can use the speed up general speed up or training speed up both are useful you can use the speed up to train huge amount of troops and by doing this you can get points the training task is completely for free to play so do not worry just train your troops and get as much point as you want i am using the speed up to train good amount of troops if you have speed up you can use it if you do not have speed up there is no problem you can just normally train your troops and get points okay guys i have completed all the task of day 3 you can see all rewards are unlocked and now i am getting all the rewards so our day 3 com is completed now we will move to day 4 okay we have entered day 4 of hall of chief and day 4 is called beach slay the tasks are not very difficult in day 4 there are mainly two tasks defeat beast and call rally against polar terror now keep this thing in your mind you have to call rally yourself if you are joining other people's rally you will not get point in this event if you call your own rally you will get point okay uh, when we play the lighthouse intel we defeat beast so you can play the lighthouse mission so by playing the lighthouse mission you can also get some point in this event you can get at least uh, some amount of point in this event when you defeat the beast in lighthouse enter now you already know one thing you need a good amount of stamina for this event because you have to defeat a lot of beast you have to defeat a lot of polar terror so you need a good amount of stamina now i have two solution for you not exactly two it is it is only one solution you can use gina in your queue if you are using the hero gina the gina can reduce the stamina cost of the polar terror or the beast so you can use the gina and that is that is a solution the next thing is not any solution the next thing is you can avoid playing the defeat beast or defeat polar terror from previous two days if you are not playing the in any if you are not playing any work that is related to stamina you can save almost 300 to 400 stamina so if you avoid all stamina work from previous two days in this day i mean the beast lay day or day four you can use your all stamina and you can get a good amount of points so that is a solution you can say if you do not play the defeat beast or defeat polar terror from last two days there will be little problem but do not worry if you do this you will save a lot of stamina and using the stamina you will get huge amount of points for beast slay and these are two things first thing you can use gina and gina can reduce your stamina cost and second thing you can avoid playing all stamina work from last two days okay so using this you can get huge points for day four and you should turn on the auto join rally for day four if you turn on this you will automatically join other people's rally and this will be good for both you and your alliance because your alliance players also need someone to join their rally so you are helping them and if you join other people's rally you will also get some reward and every day you can get 50 reward for this so always turn on your auto join rally for day 4 it will be it will give benefit to both you and your alliance see guys i have unlocked all the reward and i have completed day 4 and i can get resources speed up and many other things so always try your best to unlock all the reward every day never ever leave any reward try your best to get all the reward we have completed all tasks on day 4 now we will enter day 5 guys we are at day 5 and this is the last day of generation 1 hall of chief and day 5 is called power boost you can see the task raise power through construction raise power through research and raise power through training or promoting troops so that is the simple word of this day you have to you have to raise your power by doing anything like construction research or training so this day is very easy and it is totally for free to play players 
Now if you want good point from the construction, you can go with the furnace construction, the furnace upgrade. It will give you huge amount of point. Now remember this thing, if you are starting any upgrade on day 5 and uh, you will not get point for this. If you are starting any upgrade on day 5, you have to complete it on day 5. So better to do is you can start any upgrade on day 1 or 2 or you have to calculate this manually. Like uh, fundless upgrade take huge amount of time. So you can start the upgrade at least 3-4 days earlier and you can manually calculate this. If you see the upgrade is ending at day 5, you can go with this. Like I am giving you an example. If you see the furnace upgrade uh, it will take 4 days, you can start it on day 1. So it will end on day 5. You can do this and by doing this you will get huge amount of point from construction. See I have I have got point from construction and, and all rewards are unlocked and I have collected the rewards. This is how you can complete all 5 days of Hall of Chief. Hall of Chief generation 1 has only 5 days but Hall of Chief Generation 2 has 7 days. I am telling you what task you will get on Hall of Chief Generation 2. On day 1 it is city construction, day 2 basic skills up, day 3 train troops, day 4 charm upgrade, day 5 power boost, day 6 chief gear upgrade, day 7 hero development. These are all 7 days and 7 tasks of Generation 2 Hall of Chief. Generation 2 Hall of Chief is similar with King of Icefield and the State of Power and I have already made guide on King of Icefield and State of Power. Uh, if you want any idea on Generation 2 Hall of Chief, you can check the guide, link given in pin comment. I have made guide for King of Icefield and State of Power and they are for veteran players. But Generation 1 Hall of Chief is for new players. So I made this dedicated video on Generation 1 Hall of Chief. That is all for this video. To watch more, subscribe.